from majestic waterfowl to creatures capable of ending your life with a single blow. Here are the top seven most dangerous birds in the world. This video was requested by Lil Rory. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 7. Mute Swan Mute swans, named so because they tend to be less vocal than other swan species, are among the largest birds in the world. Their plumage is entirely white and their orange beaks are bordered with black. Even though they're smaller than trumpeter swans, these creatures are arguably more dangerous. That's because they aggressively defend their nests, young and mates. They also frequently inhabit areas with human presence such as park ponds and community lakes. Mute swans are known to regularly attack people who enter their territory. Their attacks consist of bites and wing strikes. The carpal bone on their wings is particularly strong and capable of causing serious bruising on adults and even breaking the bones of children. There have been several cases in which swans have attacked people in canoes and kayaks, most likely believing them to be a threat to their young. Deaths have been reported with people drowning as the swans attacked them repeatedly once they were in the water. Number 6. Lamagear Lamagears, also known as bearded vultures, are large birds of prey found in the mountains of Europe, Africa and Asia. Lamagears found around the Himalayas tend to be the largest, with wingspans of almost 10 feet and weights of up to 18 pounds. These incredible creatures have been observed living at great altitudes, even up Mount Everest at 24,600 feet. One way to recognize them is by their heads, which aren't bald unlike most vulture species. Lamagears have thick, robust necks and powerful legs. They attack live prey with greater regularity than any other vulture species and won't shy away from taking on larger animals, such as ibex or capra goats. Before we continue with our list, see if you can answer this question. Which ancient Greek dramatist was said to have been killed by a lamagear? Was it A. Aeschylus B. Euripides C. Sophocles D. Agatha Let us know what you think in the comment section below and keep watching to find out the right answer. Number 5. Emu Emus are Australia's largest birds and the second tallest birds in the world, found in various habitats both inland and on the Australian coast. Their plumage varies according to habitat, thus giving emus a form of natural camouflage. Birds in more arid regions tend to have shades of red in their feathers, while those in more humid environment tend to have darker plumage. Like its African counterpart, the ostrich, the emu is easily recognizable by its long neck and legs. Its main defense attributes are the sharp claws on its three-toed feet, which can inflict severe damage if the bird feels threatened. An emu will kick at its perceived attacker with its legs, which are strong enough to tear down metal fencing and slash through their flesh with its spear-like toes. Number 4. Harpy Eagle Harpy eagles are found in some parts of southern Mexico in Central and South America as far south as Argentina. Among the various eagle species, the harpy excels in terms of physical strength. They also own the largest talons out of all eagles. It's not uncommon for this predatory bird to lift prey equal to its own body weight. Females, which tend to be larger than males, can weigh more than 20 pounds with wingspans close to seven and a half feet. They skillfully maneuver through their surroundings and grab mature sloths and large male howler or spider monkeys directly off tree branches. It's a truly astonishing feat of strength when considering that the harpy does this in flight and then flies off without landing. They've been known to take livestock including chickens, goats, lambs and young pigs. Fortunately, they rarely attack people. Nevertheless, their razor-sharp talons are capable of inflicting severe injuries and their clutch is powerful enough to break bones. Number 3. African Crowned Eagle 
This large bird of prey is found in southern and sub-Saharan Africa, where it's known as the leopard of the sky. At least 90% of its diet consists of mammals such as deer, antelope, or monkeys. It possesses unusually strong legs and large talons. Its talons have the force to kill by crushing the skulls of its prey. It often preys on animals that weigh up to 65 pounds and is known to lift more than its own body weight in flight. The crowned eagle has been described as ferocious and constantly alert. It's perhaps the only predatory bird known to attack children as prey. A seven-year-old boy was ambushed by a crowned eagle which plunged its talons deep into his neck and chest. The eagle was about to carry off the 44-pound child when it was bludgeoned to death by a woman with a hoe. There were several cases in which the skulls of human children were found in crowned eagle nests. In one instance, the severed hand of a missing four-year-old girl was found in a tall tree. Inaccessible to other predators, the child was believed to have fallen prey to a crowned eagle from the area. According to one hypothesis, crowned eagles might have partially shaped human evolution. The skull from a child Australopithecus, a potential human ancestor, was found in South Africa in 1924. The child was killed by a row of piercings to his skull, most likely caused by a bald eagle. Some have theorized that frequent attacks from these eagles may have led our smaller primate ancestors to evolve larger body sizes so as to avoid crown eagle predation. So, who was the Greek playwright supposedly killed by a lamagir? The right answer was Aeschylus. The legend goes that Aeschylus, the father of Greek tragedy, was killed after a lamagir dropped a tortoise on his head. Much of this vulture's diet consists of bone marrow. Lamagirs are known to pick up prey and drop it from great heights so that its bones break apart. A testament to this killing technique is their old name of Ossifrage, which actually translates as bone breaker. The Lamagir believed to have been responsible for the dramatist's death was most likely trying to do that with a tortoise, one of its favorite types of prey, and mistook Aeschylus's bald head for a rock. Number 2. Cassowary Cassowaries are native to the tropical forests of New Guinea, northeastern Australia, the Malaku Islands, and an Indonesian province called East Nusa Tenggara. There are three cassowary species, of which the southern cassowary is the most common. It's identifiable by its bristly dark plumage, its blue face and neck, as well as the horn-like brown structure found atop its head. The cassowary has three thick and powerful toes on each foot. Its deadliest weapon is the dagger-like claw on its inner toe, which can grow to be almost five inches in length. During World War II, American and Australian troops were warned to steer clear of cassowaries. A 1958 description of the bird reads, the inner or second of the three toes is fitted with a long, straight, murderous nail, which can sever an arm or eviscerate an abdomen with ease. The only recorded cassowary victim was a teenager from 1926 called Philip McLean. The 16-year-old and his younger brother were trying to get the cassowary off their property by hitting it with clubs. As they were charging at the bird, Philip tripped and fell to the ground. The cassowary kicked him in the neck, severing his jugular vein, and he died shortly after. Number 1. Ostrich These huge flightless creatures are native to Africa and the largest and arguably the most dangerous birds in the world. Male North African ostriches, the largest subspecies, can weigh up to 340 pounds and close to 9 feet in height. Depending on the season, ostriches may be seen as individuals in pairs, small flocks or large congregations throughout the continent's savannas. The most dangerous aspect about ostriches is their legs, which they use to deliver punishing kicks. Although they'll typically avoid humans, it's not uncommon for ostriches to respond aggressively when they feel cornered. Their powerful feet are armed with long claws capable of disemboweling or killing a person with a single blow. In one region of South Africa called Utsum, about three attacks occur every year which usually result in serious injury or death. Country singer Johnny Cash used to own an exotic park on his property where he also kept ostriches. He was once attacked by an aggressive male and hadn't it been for his oversized belt buckle, the ostrich's toe claw would have torn through Cash's abdomen. Ostriches are also very fast runners capable of reaching 45 miles per hour. Ostrich races 
are still practiced in certain parts of Africa in which the animals are ridden with special saddles, reins and bits. Thanks for watching. Do you know other dangerous large birds? Tell us about them in the comments section below.